Okay, this will be a very quick video. I know people want to see the inside of the uh, Tiny SA. Um, so let's open it up. There's uh, four screws on the back and you remove those four screws and the thing comes, comes out. The uh, board looks very clean. There's a lot of shielding in the RF section, so I really can't see underneath and I don't feel like tearing my apart right now. Uh, but there is uh, three different cans, so three different sections, an input section on the low, an input section on the high, and then a uh, can probably around the receiver chip. Um, there's a nice battery with a connector, so easy to replace the battery when, when needed. We can take a look a closer look at what we can see. Uh, we can see the microprocessor, uh, the battery charging circuit, um, power supply section, not really much going on here, just normal digital stuff. You notice that the crystal is missing from the microprocessor. The, the uh, uh, chips, there's two chips that create a local oscillator for the spectrum analyzer. And one of those is programmed to generate a master clock and that's being used by the microprocessor. And the other side is just the touch panel. 